This weekend, we are sleeping outside, but this is not a camping trip. We're actually here to save the cheetahs, but more on that later. So let's set up camp. So I don't know if you remember last time. Look in the Samburu video and you'll see how disorganized it was. We finally got some nice totes and everything. So I think this is a huge step up. We'll see how organized it is as we go, but I have high hopes. Tana, we're getting really good at this. It's, it's actually really easy to set up, I have to say. Yeah, it took about like five minutes. Yes. Because we're pros. It's not because it's easy, it's because we're pros. Oh yeah, clearly. <laughs> let's go, Tracy, let's go. Ooh, ooh, let's go, Tracy. You're on animal patrol. Hey, less talking, more pumping. You're on animal patrol. Yes, I'm looking. <laughs> All clear. So we're on camping trip number two, and I caught a hole in our mattress. Luckily, it's on a super easy spot to repair but it makes me really paranoid that maybe there's more. Nothing you can't fix with duct tape. <laughs> Always bring duct tape with you camping. So as I'm gathering wood for a little campfire, this is where the truck is, right there. This is where the wood is. Look what I found. So I don't know if I should be worried. This right here, this is elephant poo. And this one here is kind of fresh. And this right here, the white stuff there, that's aina poop. The reason why it's white is because they eat bone and this is actually like the extra calcium that goes in their in their feces but the the aina poo is about 25 feet from the truck are you guys ready for a camp tour so last time that we were here we actually had the overland trucks that we rented out um, this time we're coming with our own tent and everything. We're at Olorai? Ol Olorai? Olorai? Something like that, last time. I'm terrible at pronunciation. That campsite, which was beautiful. I have to say, this is just as beautiful. Slightly different, smaller riverbank. Um, but what I love about these two campsites, I don't know about the others yet, is how they're huge. You can come with group, you can come by yourself, either or. We, right now we have it all to ourselves. I'm rambling. Also, <laughs> forgot to say, we're in Opajeta, by the way. We never said that. Okay. This is, I don't know, I'm very happy right now, so I'm rambling a lot. But this is our fireplace. We have our two chairs. We have our solar light charging. Well, not so much sun anymore. That's right. And then come over to this side. We have our little tent. And it's all made up cozy. I thought it was being cold, but like we're pretty shielded right here. We put the truck there as well to shield some more in case it get windy overnight. And then over here is our kitchen. So tonight we're having chicken, rice, and veg. So I'm just boiling water, getting the rice ready. And so far so good organization is oh, making a world of difference. Um, that's it. And then this is a massive campsite. By the way, when you come to Old Pajetta, at least last campsite in this campsite too, they have their own fire pit. They have their own wood set aside so that way you don't collect wood that's not ready to be collected or that's still half alive. Um, there, I just saw a water tank there. I think that's for fire. I don't think that's actually for us to use. I'm not sure because there is a spout on the side too. Um, not drinkable, obviously. And then way back behind that bush is the bathroom. It's pretty far. At night, I don't think I'm gonna go that far. But yeah, there actually is a washing facility here. When I say washroom, it's a port potty. What is better than that? 
So uh, Ahina just won, I think it's alone, just crossed the riverbank about probably like a hundred meters from us. Tracy was like, there's a hyena and I thought it was like right there by the bush and I got scared, but no. So we have the fire going, we have, we just turned on our big LED light as well. Yeah. That's normally the fire is kind of enough like it, to like keep them away. It is far, but it's just enough that like you still have, you're still in the wild. You got to keep your eyes open. Like it wasn't that far. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so last time we did videos with the Cheetah Project, we said we were going to donate the money that comes off of those videos. So that's done. And that's on the screen. Um, and then this time, what we're going to do is for every like, we'll donate a shilling. So make sure you like this video if you watch it so we can increase the donations to the Cheetah Project. Tracy, what's for supper? Uh, veg, chicken, and rice. That sounds pretty good and healthy. Yeah. I like that. Anyway, so like I told you guys, this is not a camping trip. So we're gonna see you guys back in the morning for some for some cheetah action. Update. There is now two hyenas looking at us at about 150 meters distance. Maybe a hundred. I don't think they're gonna come here though. I mean we've got the fire and we've got the lights on. We're staying really close to the truck right now, just just in case. Just in case, you know. I'm not gonna go pee too far. You know. <laughs> Good morning. We slept just fine, but woke up on the ground. We have a leak. We're gonna have to fix that. So behind me is our August 2022 Cheetah Project team. Hi, I'm Sia, I'm from India. Hi, I'm Federica, I came from Italy. Kushbuya from India. Kevin from the United States. Hi, um, I'm Zeke and I'm from Kenya. I'm Johan from the USA. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christina from Italy. So the goal of the cheetah project is to do an official count of how many cheetahs they have here at Alpajeda. And actually a lot of things happened within the last few months here. One cheetah sadly died and two new cheetahs actually arrived in Alpajeda from a different territory. So yeah. yeah. So we're actually recording where the jackals are as well because over the last three and a half years there's only been one surviving cheetah cub. So that's not that great. So we're kind of seeing if the jackals are impacting the cheetahs as well. Counting cheetah, open appetite. So uh, breakfast time for the team. We didn't see cheetah yet, but. No, I mean, we already had breakfast. We eat ours really early. Yeah, but if there's extra food, I'll, I'll, I'll eat some. It is freezing right now, guys. <laughs> like in the sun trying to warm up. Breakfast checked. Now we have some antelope looking at something which could be uh, a cheetah. Could be anything. He's not hurt. So all of this was caused by a dog which we don't know how he could gain access to this park because there's gates and stuff all around. He's not well. stuck under a wire. Anyway, carry on. So as you can see, Aubergine is extremely, extremely dry right now. But because there's a water tank there, if you look around, there's like a nice green patch of grass. So their cheetah project, they're actually using um, like kind of hunting cameras, not the hunt, but just to spot a cheetahs. So we're just here where one of the camera is to check the footage, change the uh, SD card, and then we'll be on our way. I see jackals. Where? Two, right there. Oh yeah. So even though we're here for the cheetahs, we saw the elephants at the dam and we had to stop 
and watched them for a little bit. And the baby elephant fell down. And then the mama came down to help, and she fell down too. Towards noon, now we're at Marani's for lunch with the team. So the Cheetah Project has been running for a few years now, but for the first time, they have their first Kenyan member, Zeke. And Zeke is actually currently doing his university degree in animal behavior. So how has been your experience with the Cheetah Project so far? Well, um, actually it's been, you know, great. Um, I've had lots of like, you know, opportunity to work with a lot of different software, like population data, yeah. looking at where they are um, and how that relates to the conservancy. Um, you know, as a whole, because there's a lot of other like predators, there's lions, jackals, hyenas, yeah. and so where the cheetah fits in is um, is a really interesting point, and it's just what, what I'm trying to like, you know, study uh, and I like, find out. So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And like Zeke said, like the cheetah project is. They went all like high tech in the last few years. They have like the cameras, the uh, the different apps and everything to yeah. track. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's very interesting. It's great to have yeah. you on board. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. See you later, Chris. So we're gonna go back to uh, to our camp for a couple hours before going back for the evening game drive. Our mission right now is to find this tiny hole in our mattress so tonight we don't sleep on the ground. So we have the hole. I patched it like real good with duct tape. And let's see if that's the only one. Fingers crossed. As much as the mornings and evenings are cold, it is steaming right now. <laughs> we got the little little lost piece of shade there is currently because it's like yeah. prime time of the day. Yeah, it's really, really hot. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to chill in our tiny bit of shade <gasps> and wait, wait for the uh, evening game drive. <laughs> I wish the tent was a little cooler. I'd have a snooze, but... Too hot. We're also testing the patch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's that too. So we'll Fingers see. crossed. <laughs> This is our third cheetah project and we've never seen cheetahs with the cheetah project. We've seen cheetahs like in Old Pajeta and other places, but never with the cheetah project. <gasps> if you want to see what a post-snap fully rested teams look like, well, this is what it looks like. No naps. A no lot of energy. Naps. No naps? Well, no naps. I was like, I needed a nap. And I, I did. No I did nap. nap. <laughs> oh, you, no, no, no. Oh, you no, did? No. I don't. I never I nap. needed one, yeah. but no, we had yeah. six. Anyway, so, so let's hope let's hope for cheetahs or yeah. at least one cheetah. A cheetah would be Eight. very nice. Yeah. Great. <laughs> so when you're in the truck for an unknown amount of time, because if you see a cheetah, you're gonna stay with them for a while. You must bring snacks. But on the downside, even if you're not with them for a while, you still end up eating all your snacks anyway. Meh. Oh well. This is it guys, we finally found a cheetah. No, I'm joking. It's the, it's the end of the day. Sadly, we didn't find a cheetah, but you know there is always tomorrow. Bye. Okay, bye. Thanks. See you in the bye. morning. Well, that was close. I'm glad he already had food. Tracy can come out. <laughs> it, it's, it's fine now. <laughs> so we heard like twigs on the other side and there's a rhino across the river. 
There's a lot of action here tonight, guys. Those animals are pretty close. At least like the rhino's on the other side of the like the river. There's no way like he can cross. He's way too big and not yeah. agile enough. Well, that I thought be, that about the buffalo. That though. being said, the buffalo did the uh, like. I woke up in the middle of the night to go pee, and the buffaloes were like just a few meters from the tent, and they looked at me, and I looked at them, and they looked at me, and I looked at them. <laughs> I shined a light on them, and then they left. But like they they were able to like cross the river, which I don't know how they did that. Yeah. And then the hyena, I'm pretty sure it's gone. I don't think it's gone. I think it's just in the bush well, uh, with its kill. We'll keep an eye on it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Let's maybe eat a supper. Bit, a little bit nerve-wracking tonight. Trace is a little stressed. I'm just I hungry. <laughs> For dinner tonight, sandwiches. Because we're lazy, but also because we're really happy to eat sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a hyena that just like walked behind us, probably like, I don't know, 50, 60 feet away. Um, it just crossed like across the uh, the camping ground and then after that like we saw like a few eyes at the entrance of the, the camping ground I strongly think that those are buffaloes uh, but yeah Tracy went in the truck I'm not sure she's gonna be able to like sleep in the tent tonight she, she's a little freaked out those I mean the animals tonight they're coming like real close to us but as soon as you like shine light on them they seem to like be not necessarily scared but they're, they're not interested in like whatever we're doing. Well, there's something in the water. Those two buffaloes crossing the river. So we're ready to crawl in bed. I hear buffaloes all around. We set fire, we have lights. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hope for a quiet night. It settled down last night. Like it was eventful in the evening. Like yeah. I heard a lot of buffalo, but then around like, 2, 3 a.m. it did settle down, so I feel like... We'll see, the buffaloes are coming like really close to the tent at night because it's like an open area, I guess, and yeah. they like the grass here because yesterday they were like just behind the tent. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay, we'll see. We made it through the night. I actually slept like really, really well too. Yeah. Like, I was shocked. But I think, also, our mattress didn't deflate because, high five, we patched it. <laughs> like professionals. It's like we've camped before. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. And, like, the animals, like, uh, I didn't hear too many animals, like, overnight compared to the first night and compared yeah. to just before going to bed. Yeah, the first night there was a lot, a lot of buffalo, so you could still hear lions and hyenas in the distance. Yeah. I think I heard a couple hyenas in the distance. Yeah. A few buffalo, but not. That's good. In much. the distance. That, that's yeah. Good. As we're sitting here eating our breakfast, a buffalo comes to the water to drink. Look at that hefty sandwich. It's as big made as my a, face. Made the breakfast sandwich. Yeah. We're good. So just like the last time uh, we came here to camp at Opajeta, like the campsite that they have here are like really, really nice. I really like them. And you don't have to worry about bringing your own firewood or anything yeah. like that. It's just already here. Yeah. And you can bring some friends because as you can see around, That's like, I mean, it's, it's massive. Like, it's not just like a tiny clearing. Yeah. Like, yeah, you pay per person. But even if it's just us two, we get the entire things to yeah. ourselves. And so how much is it? Group. 12 bucks a person? I think it's $12 a I'm gonna person. I'm going to put it on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so very affordable on top of your park fees, obviously. So now we're going to go drive around a little bit, mini game drive, try to find the cheetah project before leaving. Yeah. And see what we can find. Hopefully a cheetah. Come on, guys. Did you guys find the cheetah this morning? <laughs> no. no you okay. So I, at, le at least I didn't miss nothing. <laughs> Well, guys, it was a pleasure as always. We wish you a lot of cheetahs. I'm sure there is cheetahs in Old Pajeta. I've heard about them before. So you guys will find them, I'm sure. And, and well, we're, we're going to see you guys probably in December again. Any one of you going to be here in December? Never know. No, you're, you will Never for know. sure. <laughs> Tracy's going to be here as well. So anyway, so yeah. Time for us to drive back hey, to Nairobi. Thanks, thanks, guys, for joining us. Pleasure. All this, all this. So don't forget to like the video to help the donation. All the information for the cheetah project are, are going to be down below if you want to join, if you want to donate or have more information it's all gonna be there and otherwise see you guys in the next one